No one can stop me. Welcome back, guys, to Par Season 6, Episode 10. And by God, we have an episode and a half to talk you through here. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, is it RIP Ghost or is it simply not that? Because I tell you what, he did fall quite a height and he got shot in the chest. But Angela did get shot in the chest and she survived to, like the next episode, which was this season. So I'm not too convinced that Ghost is in fact dead here. But uh, let's just kick it off. So, you know... He's on the phone, he discovers that Walsh is going to pick St. Patrick as a running mate, the Lieutenant General. Things are looking good for him, he's loving life, things are looking fine dory. Um, Sax tells the main man, right, here you. That's how it's going down, he's like, you know what, Sax, fuck you. And then Rodriguez talks to him as well, and it's like, the cops, like, I don't, I don't understand this new guy's motives. Like, surely he's seen how dirty, that, like, St. Patrick and Egan have got, and other people. It's like, is it all about time you just get dirty to fucking get these guys? I can understand why Sax is so fucking pissed off. Like, honestly. Like, if this was Greg, you know, back in the day, I think Greg would have sorted these guys out, but I think he's been done pretty dirty, but uh, Ghost has a few more hours to come up with the, uh, the grind for the, Chien the Queen's Child Project, and he visits this bar, and I'm like, hmm, what's this all about? And it turns out this guy's his uncle. His dad, though, passed away. He hasn't seen his uncle since the day his dad passed away. The hug, share memories. And, I, and once this scene happened and Ghost kept quoting, no one can stop me, and the fact this episode was like 80 minutes long, I kind of thought the writing was on the wall for Ghost. Um, and it absolutely was. Things are not looking good. But uh, essentially here we see Sax and Rodriguez go to Tate. And Tate then, after hearing that here, if you pretend that you've seen Tasha and Ghost arguing over Terry Silver, they will arrest Ghost, and obviously this lights Tate's face, I was like, yes, I, I, as a matter of fact, did hear that, but Sax, obviously, he's turning dirty, Sax, here, but I don't fucking blame him, I think cops have got to turn a wee bit dirty in order to get something done, man, that's just the reality of things, and that's exactly how this goes down, um, Ghost, you know, seeing him here, with Hard Stern, I, I, I'm fucking shocked, this Hard Stern guy, who's actually, you know, last at this entire show. I, I seriously am. Ghost has some flashbacks this episode and visions. He sees Angela. Angela look, looking looking as hot as ever. We Angela. He then goes to see uh, Fimona, kisses her. He's like, right, we, we can make this official, but uh, not in the public eye. Then, as this is, as he's meeting her in truth, Rodriguez raids his apartment. And they find the boots that they think he wore during the murder of Terry Silver, and also they find a phone which belongs to Terry Silver. Tommy then appears at like Ghost's like campaign speech at Truth, but Tommy did not really appear this episode. We, we we then see a car following Ghost. He goes to Raina's grave. It's the first time he's been to Raina's grave uh, ever, uh, and then he's like, "What the fuck are you doing here?" We turn around. It's Tasha. And Tasha's like, "I come here every week." These two are a bit of a slabbering match, and essentially what this boils down to is here is that Ghost wants Tariq now to turn himself in. It just seems like a very questionable decision to me. Tate then appears, um, and Ghost is like, you know what, I'm a fucking winner, Tate, you're a serial loser, fuck you, goodbye, you're welcome to come to the party later. And like, he, already in this episode, Ghost is already creating like so many more, you know, enemies, um, Tariq appears at Truth, he brings Dre with him, Dre's like, well you know what Ghost, you set me up for Jason's kill I want quarter of a million in order to leave New York and you will never have to see me again Ghost's like, you know what Dre, you're just a wannabe gangster, you're a fucking little bitch you come crawling back like a little bitch you're a little bitch so yeah, Dre, now Tommy then right, text Ghost we need to meet and I, I didn't like this scene between these two, I think the Tommy and Ghost scenes are seriously going off the rails recently um so the mate goes, Tommy's like, I know you didn't kill Lakesha, but you know, it doesn't make it right. And, and goes like, you know what, we're brothers, man. I know Kanan said there's no friends in the in the streets, but we're brothers. I know I made you kill Holly and fucking your daddy, but it, it's okay. And then they, they start getting shot out, out of nowhere, right? And, and, and then like Tommy runs off into the warehouse. Ghost sees like boots on the floor, think, oh, is Tommy dead? Is Tommy dead? He then like walks over. The, um, this dead body and it's like who's this gonna be damn it and it's just this fucking random black guy with a bit of stubble and a, and a beanie on alright 
And I'm, I'm, I'm looking here, hmm, is that possibly his uncle? I mean, honestly, I have fucking no idea. But yeah, the, what, what, what purpose did this scene do? Apart from give like Tommy and Ghost one last scene, if Ghost is dead, I didn't like this scene. I thought it sucked. Personally, it just didn't need to be in there. Um, anyway, we then have like a sit down with the FBI, the, the police. They essentially, I realize here that we need to work together to bring down Ghost and St. Patrick because if we try and bring down Sachs, that's going to look bad on all of us. So yeah, let, let's retract all our statements here and sort this out. Dre then gets arrested because, of course, Ghost set him up. Not looking good. Um, Ghost then confronts Finson. He puts a few plays in there. Motion so he can pull a couple of strings in Albany. Paz then confronts Ghost. And he's like, who the fuck? I know you didn't kill Angela, but you know who did. Tell me. And Ghost refused to tell. So another person who's you want to kill. Rhonda's like, who, who are you talking to there? He's like, oh, it's just my 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 ex love of my life sister player um ghost then goes to meet with tasha in their apartment another argument here between these two just like fucking the good old days and she's like i the hope i never see you again fuck you ghost again caught i mean everyone he's meeting with this episode and he keeps quoting no one can stop me now he then goes into reina's room and he sees flashbacks of reina we get to see reina reina is back reina is back damn it uh, he then has a scene with Tariq, and Tariq can't believe that he's fucking jobbing them out. He's like, you promised me that you would take the fall, and now here you are, wanting to send your remaining, one of your few remaining children to jail. He's like, you're a fucking little bitch, Dad. I can kind of see Tariq's point of view, but at the end of the day, he's the one that came out of the crime, isn't he? Um, but then the police, they take it to the head judge in order to get um, these guys sorted out here for St. Patrick, all the evidence, the phone, Terry Silver, it's not enough. So Rodriguez decides to go to Dre, and Dre then testifies that he was there alongside St. Patrick. And it's like, yeah, is that, is that how it's going to go for Dre? But again, as soon as they're close to getting a witness and killing someone, what happens? It's absolutely bang, bang, good night. Two bit and specs and receive a phone call in jail. Ghost wants them essentially to do something. So how, how's that going to go down? How is that going to go down? And then a few people get told that James St. Patrick ain't going to be getting brought to justice. Tate and Paz. And it's like, right, so who's going to kill... Ghost, who's going to kill St. Patrick? I tell you what, Tommy did nothing this episode. Is he part of that garbage filler scene that he had with Ghost? He absolutely did nothing, man. Absolutely did nothing. Just a really poor episode for Tommy, I guess. Then we get the the finale of this episode. Um, Sax realising that he's, on, he's going to go to jail, but these bastards are going to get off scot-free. So he goes, gets his gun. Um, Kanan then appears in Ghost's flashback. He's like, no one can fucking trust you, man. And he's like, yep, you're a street fog ghost. Good to see Kanan again. Um, and yeah, ghost. Then it starts to power down. It go at truth, sorry. Then we see like everyone's pointing a few. I'm like, hmm, is this going to be a case of who done it? We see Tommy, we see Paz, we see Tate, we see Sax, we see Tyreek, we see Tasha. Fuck, there's probably a few more people have I said Tate. There's just so many people that want ghost dead. Um, and then he goes to his wee balcony bit. Rodriguez gives it to her car with a search warrant. Here's a gunshot go off. And damn, we cut back to truth. Ghost has been shot in the chest. He falls off the balcony. Bang, bang, good night. Who has killed Ghost? And honestly, I've really no idea who. I think you can kind of narrow it down. I think if it was going to be like Tommy, they would have done that on screen. I don't think it's Paz. I don't think it's Sax. I don't think it's Tate. I just don't think it's Dre. Part of me thinks Tyreek, but also part of me thinks that it might be someone we've never seen before. Or someone who who we didn't see during this montage and therefore we weren't really led to believe it's them. We'll have to wait and see, but he is Ghost Dead. Really looking forward to watching the next episode. I mean, it's a massive character death, if he is, sadly. Dude, but it's a bit weird though that they've killed this guy off with five episodes to go because he's like the centerpiece of this show. I just don't really see how this gets wrapped up. Maybe he's not dead. Who knows? But yeah, pretty insane if he is, guys. Um, sorry, I've got COVID, so if I don't sound all that enthusiastic, that's why I'm fucking snookered to say the least. But I'm going to give this episode a seven out of ten. I really like the aspect of a who done it. You know, I haven't really seen that quite a lot in, you know, proper TV shows, but I think the, I think the oh, is that Tommy Ghost scene? That did nothing for me. It was fucking, it was weird. Absolutely weird. Anyway, guys, 7 out of 10. Till next time. Peace.